Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O. In this video, we're going to talk about the ovaries. So we'll, we'll cover, we'll cover um, oocyte production and follicle production in more detail in another video. I just want to talk about the ovaries themselves now and we'll introduce those topics. So the ovaries are what are known as the female gonads. So remember, when you hear gonads, you might think of the male, but the gonads are the organ that produces sex hormones and gametes, and that's what the ovary is in females. So the, uh, the gamete that the ovaries produce is the oocyte, or the egg. And the sex hormones would be would be your female sex hormones, primarily estrogen and progesterone. So we'll talk about the hormones a lot more later. Uh, anatomically, you'll see you see where they sit here. The um, ovarian ligament is what attaches the ovary to the uterus. The broad ligament just kind of helps hold everything in place. One thing that I find kind of interesting, and we'll cover this more in the video on the uterine tube, but the ovary is not actually connected directly to the uterine tube. There's a small space there, which means that uh, upon ovulation, an oocyte could leave the um, ovary and not actually enter the uterus. It could, some, it could enter, the, enter the abdominal pelvic cavity, so it's just kind of interesting there. Uh, so here we see just a, a simple drawing of the ovary. It's broken up. The outside of the or, uh, ovary is the cortex. That's going to be the stroma or the connective tissue, the bulk of the anatomy of the of the, the structure itself, the medulla will be the inner part. That's going to be where like your blood vessels and lymphatic vessels and nerves are going to be. So you have an outer cortex and an inner medulla, just like uh, adrenal glands and many other structures we've talked about so far. But the reason the ovaries are so important is because what's happening inside of them. This is going to be where the follicles are developing. So the follicles are going to be what develop and mature. And inside a follicle, you would have the oocyte. So it's very important to note that you're not just producing eggs and spitting out eggs. You're producing these mature follicles. And as you see on the right-hand side, during ovulation, a follicle is rupturing out of the ovary because, yes, you need the oocyte. That's the cell that's actually fertilized to produce a zygote and then a baby. But the, the leftovers from the follicle becomes an endocrine organ. So we'll cover that later, called the corpus luteum. So it's very important to note that, that it's not just eggs being released or oocytes being released from the ovaries. It is the follicle which has an oocyte inside of it. So we'll come back to that in much more detail later. Um, here we see the ovarian cycle. Notice that a typ typical ovarian cycle lasts 20, 28 days. Um, and this should be somewhat predictable. Obviously, there's nothing predictable about humans. There's not a textbook human being. But if you follow this 28-day cycle um, from from menarche, the first menstrual cycle in, in puberty, uh, all the way to menopause, you should see ovarian cycles working along with menstrual cycles. So the processes that you're seeing up here during the follicular phase of the ovarian cycle, the follicle is developing. So you see that there were actually, it says selected tertiary follicle because there were many follicles that were developing. This is the one that developed the most and had the most hormones emanating from it, and it became it became the winner. So we have the selected tertiary follicle, and then it's going during during ovulation, it's going to rupture out of the ovary, and then, then it's going to release that oocyte, and that the leftover from the follicle is going to be the corpus luteum, which will produce, for probably 10 to 12 days, will produce progesterone to help uh, initiate and maintain pregnancy. If there's not a pregnancy and the hormone levels drop to normal, this corpus luteum will, wear, will disappear, it'll become the corpus albicans, and it'll degrade, and then there won't be a pregnancy, and the cycle will start over the next month. If there is a pregnancy, then these progesterone, these sex hormone levels will stay elevated to maintain the pregnancy and ovulation will shut off because you've got, you've already got a baby in the in the uterus. Um, a couple of terms here. So again, o, we'll cover these in more detail, but oogenesis would be the production, the genesis of a functional egg. And then you have uh, folliculogenesis, the development of the follicles. These two things are going to be happening in concert. All right. So that is a quick overview of the ovaries. We'll look at those uh, pathways in more detail in a little bit. All right. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.